Now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Well, if you were out early this morning, you likely had a heavier jacket, at least relative to being halfway through May, as we had some very chilly temperatures. But it wasn't just the colder temperatures, but we also had quite a bit of fog. Now, this comes as we did have ideal radiational cooling conditions, meaning that we didn't have really any wind through the overnight. We had a mainly clear sky, and that allows our temperatures to dip pretty close to the dew points, in which case... That brought a lot of us down to the 30s. Toma actually almost dipped into the 20s this morning. But a lot of us towards the west managed to stay into the low 40s. Otherwise, for today, plenty of sunshine and beautiful weather today. This will be a day to just get outside and enjoy it or to get outside and do some chores, some yard work. And temperatures over the next couple of days are expected to remain a few degrees above average, which, again, typically fall into the upper 60s for this time of year. But then later on this week, Thursday into Friday morning, we see the return of those showers. And Friday actually looks like it'll be a little on the cooler side. Otherwise, through the afternoon, we'll have widespread sunshine and temperatures again climbing into the mid-70s with that light wind mostly out of the west-northwest anywhere from about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's a look at our Nicolay Bank Skycam over Hastings Way showing all the blue sky that we're enjoying going into the afternoon. 69 degrees, winds out of the west at 8 miles per hour, but that dew point actually has been dropping a little bit over the last couple of hours. Temperatures right now mostly into the upper 60s, some of us further towards the north into the 70s. 71 in Osceola and 70 in Rice Lake, but it is a little cooler towards the south where they've had more in the way of that filtered sunshine, which is why we see 62 both in Viroqua and La Crosse. Winds mainly out of the west-northwest between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Again, that's pretty much where we're expected to hang out for most of the afternoon. And here's a look at the satellite and radar showing just those uh, thin clouds moving through the southern parts of the viewing area. Otherwise, looking at our upper-level flow, again, this is where we have that upper high towards the Rocky Mountains. And, well, that's amplified quite the ridge over a large portion of the nation. And this favors those... Uh, fair conditions and above average temperatures that we are expecting over the next couple of days. But off towards our west, that's where we have that trough over the Pacific, which will eventually come into play later on. And looking at Skycast here, if my clicker wants to work, Skycast over the next couple of hours showing widespread sunshine throughout the afternoon and into the evening. Staying clear through the overnight and going into tomorrow morning. Again, more of the same as we'll have plenty of sunshine and just a couple passing clouds. The only difference is the winds will take on a bit more of a northerly flow. And going into Wednesday, winds shift out of the south yet again, but we'll still have a good bit of that sunshine. Highs today mostly expect to get into the mid-70s, some low 70s in those spots, again, that have had that filtered sunshine before tonight, dipping into the low 50s. Some of us in the lower elevations may dip to the mid-40s. Beyond that, tomorrow even warmer than today, but we dial back the temperatures slightly on Wednesday, eventually leading to that chance at some showers on Thursday. Some of those could linger into the early hours of Friday morning, but then we dry things out yet again through the weekend. Saturday may be a bit breezy, but still just a beautiful weekend to enjoy the outdoors with upper 60s and low 70s on tap. Now for a Sunshine Award today, John and Deanna Schilling would like to nominate Tris Olson and says Tris is a kind young man with a sweet smile and a big heart. He's very good about putting away his clothes and doing his homework. Tris likes helping us around the yard. He also loves fishing and playing outside with his big brother, and he makes us very proud. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. Well, I think a lot of people are looking forward to the sunshine. Yeah, and uh, it sounds like Tris is probably going to be out in the yard working. So it uh, <laughs> sounds like just a, a great afternoon for that yard work, too. All right. Thanks, Mike. You bet.